Now this is a special different lecture which is common for class 11th and class 12th especially for the science students but also useful for the common students. It's a chapter on logarithm. What is the logarithm means and what is log? Actually in previous years in class 11th whether it was commerce or science the logarithm was a chapter and hence people used to understand what is a log. Now we don't understand what is log, what does it mean? You see, logarithmic scale makes a lot of difference. We say there's an earthquake of uh, Richter scale 5 and there's a Richter scale 6. From 5 to 6 we mean it is 1, but basically it is 10 times. That's the basic function of log. You'll understand right now after this chapter. Logarithm, what are the logarithm? Actually, what does it mean? By logarithm we means that if a to the power x is equal to y, then log of y to the base a is x. You can understand by example, 10 cube is 1000. So log of 1000 to the base 10. This is called base. This is called base. Log 1000 to the base 10 is 3. 5 square is 25. Hence log of 25. But to the base 5 will be 2. Since 4 to the bar 4 is 256. Hence log of 256 to the base 4 is 4. You have to always understand. Similarly, you see, log 1000 to the base 10 is 3. Log 10,000 to the base 10 will be 4. So from 3 to 4 on log scale makes from 1000 to 10,000. And basically Richter scale is also on the logarithmic scale. You can understand the difference. From 3 to 4 in the logarithmic scale you change by 1. But otherwise in the actual scale you change by 10 times. Let's go ahead. Log and exponential are the same base, are inverse function. So they cancel each other. In the functional language, we write fx equal to a to the bar x and f inverse of x is log a to the bar a. To the, log x to the base a. Hence, the inverse of these two will be same as x. You can see it by example. See, f o f inverse. Since fx was log a to the bar x, so f inverse log a x. So we write these values and we get x. In other language, you can understand f inverse of f is also x. Let's say, understand here. Here we have got 2 to the power log 2 to the base 5. Log 5 to the base 2. So this will cancel and my answer will come out to be inverse unto each other. So we get the answer as 5. Similarly, one more example. Log 3 to the power 7 to the base 3. Again log 3 and 3 will cancel and we cut it and what we get is 7. This is the function of log. This basically makes our mathematical calculation very easy. Let's understand how. We have got certain properties. Let's see first property. Log of a product basically becomes log addition of two logs. Log A M N is log A M plus log an. Basically we call log m to the base a and log n to the base a. Similarly in division, it's log m to the base a minus log n to the base a. But here you see whatever is exponent of m that is r over here that comes out in this form here. r comes here log a m. This is the these are the three basic properties with the help of which we can Solve the questions. I'll give you certain examples so that you can understand it well. So then we will go for logarithm. See over here log a b to the power 4 and cube root of c square to the base 6. So we expand it. We rewrite it. It becomes c to the power 2 by 3 in the first case. You know cube root of square is this. Now we use the property log a m by n. So we subtract. That means what we write? Log 6 a b to the power 4 minus log c to the power 2 by 3 to the base 6. At times I call log 6 a b to the power 4 but basically it means log a to b to the power 4 of base 6. Further they get because a b to the power 4 means a into b to the power 4. So we divide again with the 6 property. Log mn is log am plus log an. That's what we do here. We have added up. ab4 breaks into two parts and c remains as it is. Now the third property of the exponents. So we use that property. We know b to our 4. So we change it 
and c to the power 2 by 3 also we change over here so this is so ultimate answer becomes log a plus 4 times log b minus 2 by 3 times log c all to the base 6 this is one of the examples see one more example we have to simplify this now in this case the exponents are already multiplied so what we convert property in the reverse direction so it becomes log x cube to the base 3 and log y to the power 1 by 2. This is log root y. So we again the property minus is there. So we divide it. So we write log x square upon y to the power half. This is my ultimate answer x square upon root y to the base 3 again. Let's see the one more property. If two prop, uh, quantities are same their log will be same they are different log will be different so log f m is equal to n log m to the base a will be equal to log n to the base a remember the base has to be same over here here also if the base is same log e converse of this is log m and log n are same provide they are with the same base then we get m equals to n so we can take log of both sides equality still holds we take anti log of both sides it still holds when I say from this to this, I call I am taking anti log. So we will study afterwards. Now log to the base 8. Now what is 8? 2 to the power. What power to the 2 will give 8? That will be, we know, this is 3. You know, 2 cube is 8. Similarly, what power to the 2 will give you 16? You know, the value, that is 4. Similarly, third, log 2 log 10 to the base 2. Now 2 to the power 3 is 8. 2 to the power 4 is 16. But 10 we don't know. So now we use this by properties. Let's say it is greater than 3 because it is more than 8 and less than 16. So what we do? We do the property. We will take the value as x and solve it. Now how do we solve? You can see. Now with this property you know that 2 to the power x will be 10. So we can write, change to exponential form, 2 to the power x is 10. Now we, are, we again take logs of both sides. Using the property, it becomes, and then again the property, it becomes x log 2 is equal to log 10. Now x can be calculated, that will be log 10 upon log 2. Isn't it? So what we get log 10 by log 2? Of log 10 to the base anything and log 2 to the base anything. The base has to be same. If we take the base 10, then log 10 to the base 10 will be 1 and log 10 to the base 2 will be different. So we calculate it and ultimately for other values it comes out to be 3.32. Log 2 is 0.301 something. So we place the value here. The answer becomes 3.32 over here. That's the important thing. This is what we studied in the logarithm. You can check it also by calculator. 2 to the power 3.32. You will get the value approximately same. And you will get the same value. Again, we, mo we do have one more thing. Log, when the bases are, you see, standard logs are given to the base either 10 or to the base E. But we, if we do not have any other thing, and the base is something else, we can convert to the base. We call it the change of base formula. Over here, you see log m to the base a is converted to log m to the base b and log a to the base b. This b could be anything. Usually, we make b equal to 10 or to the base e because those standard tables are available. So, it's when we write log m log a to the base 10, ln, in places you will write ln. We call it ln also. When it is written as ln, we usually term it ln, it is to the base e. So normally we convert it 10 or e because that is value standard values are available with us. This is all about logarithm so that you can understand what basically log means. Unfortunately it was deleted from the CBSE class 11th 4-5 years back. That's why people are having some problem. You will use log in chemistry calculation 